Ethereum co-founder and one of the most highly regarded personalities in the crypto world, Vitalik Buterin has just come up with an important message for Cardano and crypto holders. So stay tuned and don't miss out on anything because this is something every holder needs to see. Hey guys and welcome back to Cardano Rumors, the best place for your daily dose of Cardano. Before we proceed, I want you to hit the subscribe button and smash the notification bell for more interesting updates about Cardano, and if you have any questions, be sure to leave it in the comment section. Also, you stand a chance to win a brand new MacBook Air. Here is what you need to do, it's very simple and easy. The gold coins will be randomly hidden during this video, and all you have to do is keep in mind those special and misleading moments. Then go ahead to like the video and comment on the number of coins you found in the comment section. Now, ready for today's big revelation? Because we are. Ethereum's co-founder, Vitalik Buterin is concerned that too many new cryptos that are misleading crypto investors. He believes that wealth-flashing crypto enthusiasts mislead investors by claiming to have hit gold. Referring to the recently launched ApaCoin, Buterin said that the danger is that you have these $3 million monkeys and it becomes a different form of gambling. He also referred to the community's increasing value and flamboyant excesses. So, what he is trying to say is that if you are one of those individuals looking to invest in Bitcoin, Cardano or other cryptocurrencies in order to quickly become wealthy, you should reconsider. Due to the unpredictability and volatility of cryptos, especially all these newcomers, Buterin believes that it is significantly riskier than conventional investments. And this is exactly why investing professionals advise crypto investors to define their objectives and expectations prior to investing and to adhere to the 5% rule, which is to allocate no more than 5% of their portfolio to assets such as crypto. Now, an important point to note here is that as one of the most powerful figures in the crypto world, Buterin has witnessed the network he founded evolve with conflicting emotions. While Ethereum was designed to re-architect the web and enable a variety of applications, from more equitable voting systems to peer-to-peer -peer lending and borrowing, the Russian-born Canadian admits his vision for Ethereum has grown vulnerable to human greed. Buterin believes that cryptos like Cardano and Ethereum have a great deal of dystopian potential if applied incorrectly. What he means is that cryptos have developed a reputation for being a vehicle for tax avoidance, fraud, and large-scale scams. They have resulted in shameless displays of mass wealth, particularly among those who control the sector, which has contributed to the popular notion that owning crypto will quickly make you wealthy. Additionally, we also know that imbalances have seeped into the ecosystem, manifesting itself in a glaring lack of gender and racial diversity. Despite this, Buterin maintains an optimistic outlook for cryptos like Cardano and Ethereum. Above all, he has stated that he would like cryptos to undermine the concept of centralized governments and to undermine Silicon Valley's stranglehold on everyone's digital lives. He said that if we do not speak up, the only things that will be created are those that are instantly profitable, and those are frequently at odds with what is truly best for the planet. What we are seeing is that Buterin is basically giving advice to investors by giving them a serious warning. He wants investors, especially newcomers, to avoid getting into all these new projects like the Ape Coin in order to be safe from losing their hard-earned money. The takeaway from his remarks is that if you are considering investing in crypto, begin by assessing your situation and objectives. Determine your stance on cryptocurrency. Are you a long-term or a short-term investor? And the most important thing is that you should avoid crypto if you are looking for rapid, easy money. Additionally, you'll want to ensure that you have covered all of your financial bases prior to investing in crypto, including a well-stocked emergency fund, a conventional retirement savings scheme, and no high-interest debt. If you're financially secure, focus on expanding your crypto knowledge and gaining a firm grasp on the asset you're about to purchase. Besides, it appears that Buterin believes that if someone is planning to invest in cryptos, they should consider established projects like Ethereum, Cardano, Bitcoin, and a few others. So, these recent remarks from the Ethereum co-founder are not actually bad news for Cardano. He is just trying to help investors so that they can make an informed decision. Besides, we know that Buterin had previously commented on Cardano as one of the most emerging crypto projects. Well, if you want to know more, stay tuned until the end of the video because we're yet to talk about it. I'm also going to talk about why the Ethereum co-founder believes that crypto adoption is going to boom in the near future. And while you're at it, don't forget to click on that like and subscribe button for more videos like these. 
Now, moving forward, despite the fact that 2022 hasn't been so good for cryptos so far, Vitalik Buterin is still optimistic about cryptos. He also appears to be optimistic about Cardano's future. He has previously talked about his relationship with Charles Hoskinson, his former co-founder. He talked about how both he and Hoskinson have matured over the years and things are not like how they used to be. And coming to Cardano, despite having a few reservations, he said that he is very confident that Cardano's price will eventually increase over the long term. Buterin believes that Cardano must undergo peer review by experts for its gradual development stages. And although Cardano's testing process will take longer compared to Ethereum, Buterin believes that the Cardano blockchain could help solve scalability issues as well as other problems associated with Ethereum and overall blockchains. In light of this, Buterin thinks that Cardano will take longer than Ethereum to grow in terms of price. All in all, Buterin believes that Cardano holds some exciting ideas. And since he is one of the most influential people in the crypto space, his positive remarks on Cardano means a lot for it. It not only shows us that Cardano has proven its value over time, but it also shows us that the future of Cardano is very bright. Meanwhile, we are now seeing that another Ethereum co-founder is bullish on the overall crypto space, including Cardano. So, Ethereum co-founder Joe Lubin believes that cryptos like Cardano are proving to be a potent weapon against Russia's invasion of Ukraine. He believes that the crisis in Eastern Europe has created a point of no return for crypto's integration into global markets, and the war between Ukraine and Russia is generating another moment for the overall crypto industry. Joe Lubin further said that cryptocurrency entails bridging the gap between mainstream and alternative adoption. We have now moved on to national security concerns. It will be a profound, a tipping point for the crypto industry because it is obvious that this technology is extremely powerful and unstoppable. Moreover, Lubin is anticipating that the current Eastern European crisis will not be the final to use of Bitcoin, Ethereum, Cardano, and others. He stated that regardless of their current stance on digital assets, crypto will be used by many different nation states in the future. He believes that the influence of crypto will compel nations to develop policies, become smart, and begin wielding digital asset instruments in order to remain competitive in today's financial market. In addition, the co-founder of Ethereum linked the usage of cryptos to an arms race, stating that governments, including the United States, would need to make use of this formidable tool and weapon. All in all, we have just seen some really positive comments for Cardano and cryptos from two of the Ethereum co-founders. While Buterin believes that Cardano has a lot of room to grow from here, Lubin believes that cryptos like Cardano are going to be adopted everywhere in the coming years. In any case, what are your thoughts on this? Tell me in the comment section. And if you guys like this video, then be sure to give this video a like and also, if you don't want to miss out on any new future videos, then be sure to click on the subscribe button and turn on the notification under this video. And don't forget about our giveaway. How many coins did you find? Drop your answer down below and you could very well be the proud owner of a brand new MacBook Air. And remember the information provided is not trading advice. We strongly recommend independent research and or consultation with a qualified professional before making any investment decisions. Thank you for watching and stay strong.